Hello Glamour Ghouls, welcome back. We are on for another day of Halloween decor hunting. Uh, this one's gonna be jam packed, so I am going to jump right into it. This is the week where things start happening every year. Um, this was gonna be kind of the second part of the video I posted last week, um, but I just decided to go ahead and cut that one off and make this its own video because usually right now around the 15th is when we start seeing things popping up at the big stores. So um, <clears throat> I looked back like last year, Michael's hit around the 15th or 16th of July. Um, Bath and Body Works hit right around the 20th. So we are right in the like space where it is absolutely time to start seeing stuff. And I'm so excited, I'm so ready. So um, today we're starting at Old Time Pottery because they do have some new things in and they have some things I would like to purchase. <laughs> And as y'all know, it is much closer to my office than it is to my home. So uh, since I was in the office today, I figured I'd pop up here first real quick and then we'll head back towards me and start doing all the other spots. My goal today is to hit uh, Bath and Body Works, At Home, Michael's, maybe Joanne, and I think there's a few others. I'll need to look <laughs> and see what all I wrote down, but uh, we're gonna pop in. We'll start our little journey here today at Old Time Pottery, show you the few updates they have, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. It is absolutely time, so let's go inside. Okay, they definitely have new stuff. I'm just gonna show what's new. Um, so if you haven't seen the original Old Time Pottery video, um, I think it's like three or four videos back, um, go check that one out and see everything that they had prior to this. I'm just snooping around seeing where they have stuff. Okay, let's look at what they've got. Got some cute reusable bags that are new. These little $20 LED lanterns little candle inside in the haunted house. It's a little um, milk crady, a little like country for my liking, but it is cute. We've got some new, uh, some like pathway lighters that are skeleton hands, $19.99. Oh, these are cool. These are just like some dark colored Edison bulbs got a lighted spider web. You guys have seen, I have this one actually. I've had it forever from Walmart, like five years ago. All kinds of lights and stuff. Ooh, we've got orange Edison bulbs. Those are cool. And this really big skull for $19.99. Let's see what he does. Lights up red eyes, very spooky got just some different little flags and banners and things. And I've got some signage that's new on this end cap. We've got Trick or Treat Yourself, $14.99. Got this little standing sign that says Happy Halloween for $10. Here for the booze with little ghosties going around the sign, $7.99. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, I like that that one's a jack o' lantern. And then we've got this little trick or treat sign. It's actually kind of cute. I like the stripes. Oh, $9.99 for that little standing sign. Got a $25 hanging sign that says Boo. It's got a witch's hat, a broom, and these little letters with a spider in this O. We've got a Day of the Dead sugar, stole, sugar skull style welcome sign for 20. And then this sign that says the witch is in, which is actually what I came here for, 25 for that. It is wood and it has lights that should light up in theory. Let's see. <gasps> Beautiful! I love anything that's like marquee style. That's just a, a weakness of mine. So, oh, this little corner's chipped. Let's look for another one. Okay, I think this is gonna be the one. 
Let's keep going. Got a new little, sorry, the air conditioner's right above this. A uh, new little Happy Halloween pumpkin for $12.99. Again, kind of that country cutesy gingamy bow on it. Some little, little different pumpkins with polka dots and stuff. These are all. $5.99 and they are pretty actually pretty heavy they're not styrofoam they're like you know whatever that blown moldy kind of plasticky is this is kind of cute this is spooky $9.99 got a little spider and a little raven on it and we've got another piece of raven decor books and some skulls. Oh, it looks like it lights up. Oh, I'd say the light on it's burnt out, unfortunately, but it looks like maybe the skull eyes light up. Uh, $7.99 on that one. <clears throat> oh, this is cute. So we looked at this last time because I have this from last year with the raven, but I have not seen this one, same one with the cat. That's really cute. Uh, $9.99 and this one I happen to know lights up different like LED colors. We've got a new little skeleton friend over here with these big light bulbs in his eyes for $12.99. It's kind of fun. This little uh, skeleton under a street lamp holding a raven is new. He's got a, let's see, $19.99. He's got a push button, so let's see. Oh, try a different one. There we go. His little street lamp lights up. That's pretty cute. It reminds me of some stuff my mom had when I was a kid. We've got a big raven on a skull for $12.99. You guys know I love raven decor. It's like one of my one of my weaknesses. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of different pumpkins and stuff that have letters. These are more fall to me than Halloween, but they are cute. And then all of this stuff we saw last time. So I think that's about it for new stuff. Okay, so Old Time Pottery had some good new stuff in um, not like a ton of stuff that I was personally super interested in, but I did, of course, as I said, get this, the witch is in sign. You know, I had to do it. I love this sign. I think this is super, super cute. And, uh, it was $24.99. So I'm really, really happy about that. Now I am at Bath and Body Works. So I'm really hoping, uh, one of the lovely ladies who works here, um, commented on my video a few days ago and said like we might have stuff out as early as Sunday night wink wink um so I'm really hoping that maybe they have some stuff out I haven't heard anything from them like directly but I don't know I'm I just discovered today that so you y'all know the the hand holder hand holder <laughs> the uh the candle holder that looks like a hand that I'm obsessed with. Um, there, I just discovered today, there's a like headless bust that goes with it. And I'm, I'm freaking out, you guys. It is so cool. And I know that that'll probably be one of the last things they get in. Like they always get the candles first and the sanitizer first and all that. It won't be here probably for another two weeks. But when it does come, it's going to go fast. <laughs> I'm going to have to be like <gasps> on the prowl to make sure that I get those because I need them. I need them. And it's going to be probably like $100 and I don't care. <laughs> We're going to hit a few things here. I've got Bath and Body over here. There's a Kirkland's right here, which I don't normally do. Um, but I saw some of their online Halloween is out. So maybe they have some stuff in store. Uh Oh no, can't hurt to check. And then uh, Home Goods is down the way as well. So we're gonna pop in there. We're just gonna go do the loop. Let's do it. Okay, well, <laughs> once again, uh, some fall stuff, but not a damn thing. 
<sighs> okay, we're going to Home Goods. Let's see if we can find. I would love to just find like a blanket. A blanket would be great. So at this point, I'm just mad. <laughs> Home Goods had absolutely nothing, um, not even really like fall out yet. Um, I was so upset. I even went into Hobby Lobby next door just to like see a pumpkin. And you all know like, A, um, for those people who like comment in my comments, go to Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby doesn't carry Halloween anymore. They haven't for the last like three years because it no longer aligns with their company values is what I was told by a salesperson like three years ago. <laughs> um, so they don't sell Halloween, but they have, you know, pumpkins and stuff. Um, there's a lot of like farmhousey kind of yeehaw decor, which is fine. It's just not my thing. Um, and also like I try not to support Hobby Lobby. I don't care for the way they, you know, run their business, whatever. Anyway, I am now over at Michael's. So I'm going to pop in here, see if they've got at least their new wreath stuff out. Then I'll probably hit this TJ Maxx next door and then I'm gonna be done, I think, for the day. No, we're gonna go to at home, sorry. We're gonna pop by at home real quick because I'm really mad at myself for not buying that skeleton planter. <laughs> um, but then we're gonna go home for the day and we'll go back out on the hunt in a couple days on Friday because I'm hoping like Friday should be about the, the 16th. That's like when stuff's supposed to happen. That's when Michaels is supposed to put their stuff out, so. Let's go, uh, let's go see if they've got anything out today. That would be neat. All right, y'all know the drill. So Michaels was playing loud music, so you get to hang out with voiceover Midge. Um, so the wreath section was really well stocked. They had some cool wreath-like hangers with bats and all the little, you know, bits and bobbles that they have here for wreath making. I really like to go through this section because a lot of the time they have really cool kind of just odds and ends that you can use in so many different ways for like crafting, um, for, you know, spicing up pieces that you already have and making them a little bit more uh, ornate or like whimsical, uh, like this stuff. Like this is just really fun and you could definitely put it in like a floral arrangement on your table. This twig wreath was really cool. I wish it wasn't so glittery, but that was really cool. I think it was like 25? Yeah, 25 bucks. Um, pretty cool little wreath. And I love like this kind of stuff, like these branchy, uh, spooky, twiggy looking pieces because uh, like I said, for six bucks, you could grab a couple of these, stick them in your floral arrangement on your dining room table or whatever, and just add something extra that makes it really cool and spooky. Uh, these spiders were cool. Like those you could clip off the stems and use for crafts. Same with these cute little headstones. Um, I just think there's a lot of possibilities here for some cool stuff. This little moon was cute. Or like if you do a spooky Halloween tree, like just sticking these like on the stem, sticking them down into your tree here and there for kind of like extra embellishment would be so so cute i mean these look at these these even look like christmas tree uh branches to me like you could stick these in a halloween tree and make them you know have like kind of fun colors popping out different places if you have a black tree or a white tree and these little voodoo dolls some bats <laughs> And they had these last year, these flowers with the eyeballs in the center, and I really like them, but last year I don't think the eyeball was glittery, and I didn't like the glitter on the eyeball as much, so that was kind of a bummer. I was excited to see those again. Um, but outside of the little bits below there, they had wreath holders and different garlands and things. I really liked this little pom-pom garland. Again, I'm thinking like Halloween tree, how fun those would be. Um, oh, and these little white jack-o'-lantern jingle bell uh, wreath holder. I thought this was so unique looking and cute. I don't know. And uh, they have some just blank wreaths. Again, this twiggy black wreath, super cool and witchy. They had this little like witch hat that was uh, made of twigs. But yeah, overall, Michael's had a pretty well stocked wreath section here. Nothing outside of this though. So Michael's had a pretty good amount of their wreath stuff out. 
Um, lots of little cute pieces that you could use in like a floral arrangement or stuff like that. Um, I did end up finally getting this big metal spider web. Um, I, a few of you submitted some really cool ideas for this of what I could DIY with it. And so I'm going to try out a couple things and see what like strikes my fancy, but it's just like, it's too cool for 10 bucks. Like it's too cool not to have. And I love spider webs. It's like my favorite thing. And then I also got something else that I'm not going to show you because I have some spooky ooky plans and I want to, I want to do a specific video with some of these things that I'm curating for a specific purpose. So, um, let's pop over to TJ Maxx real quick. Just see if they've got anything at all. I don't think they're going to, um, but can't hurt to check. Okay. So kind of as expected, TJ Maxx did not have anything out. Yeah, that's fair. Normally they start putting stuff out around the 17th is I think the earliest I've ever seen it at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, stuff like that. Um, so we are at home. We are at at home, not at my home. <laughs> we are at at home now. And uh, I'm going to go see if they have anything new out since the last time I was here. And I am going to grab, I think, one of those skeleton planters because I'm really regretting not getting one. And uh, also I got a hot tip from a subscriber that at their at home, the mat, the, the doormat that I want that says keep it spooky was up at the cash wrap rather than like in with the Halloween stuff, which is weird. But um, if that's where it is, that'd be great. So we're going to, I'm going to check there as well and see if I can find that mat because I want it so bad. Um, okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go see what they have. Hold on. Look at this Jeep that has spider web doors web crawler. <gasps> it's got a spider web on the hood too. Okay, I feel bad for filming that random person's car, but uh, it's been parked at this at home at uh, like two different times now. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I want to drive a spooky Jeep. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this I filmed this three days ago and everything's already gone. Thank God he is still here, so we're going to grab him. <laughs> So at home had a ton of new stuff this day. Um, we had these tablecloths that I hadn't seen yet. Um, $3.99 for this little circular spider web one. And then this cool kind of skull and cobweb and bat one uh, runner style for $5.99, which I feel like you could also use on a mantle maybe. And then this little gnome guy was new. I actually thought he was kind of cute for $5.99. Uh, these little trees, actually Michael's had almost this exact tree last year. Uh, these were $7.99. You can't really see the lights in here because it's so bright, but they do light up. And then this little standing sign was $6.99 that says my favorite color is October. Oh, so much glitter. And then we started seeing these ornament sets, these little small ornaments. This one's kind of a candy corn. Um color scheme, I guess you would say. Uh, but we'll see a lot more of these here in a minute. They also had these little pumpkins that are actually like porcelain. They're kind of heavier, like pottery. And I liked the striped ones. I thought those were pretty cute. They also had this bow, which I've been seeing this online and I was really excited to see it in person. I don't know why I'm just really drawn to this. Uh, I think something about kind of the candy stripe look, but in Halloween colors was very cute for $19.99. It had a Tim Burtony vibe, which speaking of which, here's a little Sally inflatable and then another inflatable uh, for five, a little five, it said five foot spider, but he looks like he's on the ground. <laughs> and then here's what I was talking about. So they have ornament sets for each of the lines, Spellbound, Dark Decadence, Halloween Heroes, that are in the color schemes of the line. So uh, we're really seeing them kind of push that Christmas Halloween vibe this year. And we've got um, some bigger ornaments. I like that these ones kind of have a pumpkin look with the lines in them like that. And then we have the big, big ornaments, which again, you could use on an indoor tree. I also think you could hang them in an outdoor tree and that would look really, really cool. And these are $3.99 each. I liked this little jack-o'-lantern one too. But yeah, that's definitely on trend this year. As you can see all these Christmas trees, we've got an ornament style wreath. I love these jack-o'-lantern ornaments on here, so cool. 
Um, and this, I believe, is yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. I really, I really do like this. I'm a real sucker for you know, kind of vintagey looking ornament anything. <laughs> And then we've got the bottle brush trees. I liked that these were black with these orange and white orbs in them. Um, big one was I think $9.99 and then $7.99 for the small one. And then I finally saw this house. Y'all have been tagging me and tagging me in this house uh, because how excited I was about the putts house last year. Uh, this one is very cute. It doesn't really do the same thing for me because it doesn't look mid-century at all. It, almost kind of looks like a schoolhouse to me um, but it is really cute and I like these like candy corn windows and coffin shaped windows it's a very cute concept and the little characters inside are just a bit cartoony for me this was new and I thought this was kind of beautiful for ten dollars this skull I'm not usually a like bejeweled type of person but something about the juxtaposition with the like kind of weathered looking skull and the pearls was just really pretty and piratey <laughs> And then we have some more ornaments in a silver scheme and a gold scheme. And of course, y'all know I had to come check the doormats and you see me dart right to the black ones looking for that uh, let's get spooky rug, which they still don't have in this section. And I'm like, where is it? Where? <laughs> Uh, here we have a little porch sign from the Hoedown collection that says welcome with a little jack-o'-lantern as the O for 25. It's really cute and simple. I, I actually kind of like that, even though the Halloween Hoedown line has not been my favorite this year. There was a lot more going on in the Spellbound line this time. Um, this wreath for 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure this is the same snake wreath they had last year, but I don't remember. Um, it's a little ha happy Halloween uh, hoedown sign for $7.99. And then moving on to the Spellbound, I was so excited. So these were things I had been waiting to see in person. Um, this, these candlesticks for $9.99 each that have the eyeball. I don't know why, but I love things with eyeballs and it's been really popular these last couple years. And you see me get excited too. I've been waiting to see this weird labyrinth plant in person. I was pleasantly surprised. It looked a little dingy online in pictures, but it's actually kind of cool uh, in real life. And that was $14.99. I was excited to finally see that. Uh, they had this little cat stand up for $4.99 and a little, a real witch lives here with her little monsters, which they, they did have this sign for $4.99 last year as well. And uh, more of these ornaments in kind of that color scheme, as well as these little bottle brush trees in the Spellbound color scheme for $8.99. So again, so much of this Christmas Halloween crossover. It's very interesting to see that trend happening. This was new. Uh, his eyes light up. He doesn't make any sound or anything. But for $19.99, he's coming out of a little spell book here. Just some little shelf decor. And then they had a new skull mug, which I thought was pretty. I kind of liked this mirrored, hey, <laughs> mirrored skull mug, uh, $5.99 on that. And then they had this, which is like a bowl or a, I don't know, it's $9.99. And I thought maybe it was like a plant thing. Um, but then they specifically like mentioned dishwasher and microwave on it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be exactly, but... It was interesting. This little beaded skull I was looking at, so it's $15, and you can kind of see her. Even when I set it down, the beads were falling off of it. So uh, that one I don't think is probably worth your money. You could DIY something similar that probably would stay together better. <laughs> uh, here we have some little branchy trees for $19.99 with a little spiderweb base. They're super glittery, but they are really cute too. And then here's a sign that they did have last year also for $7.99. Every time I see this, I just think, Dream Reader! <laughs> and they had this as well last year, this Make Your Own Magic book. Um, and this is one of those little books that opens up. You could do like storage inside. So that's kind of cute. But yeah, overall, they had a lot of new stuff in the Spellbound and Dark Decadence. Um, they also had more of the, of the hoedown line with this camper. Uh, this 
is really the one hoedown piece I was excited about because it's very mid-century to do these kind of airstreamy camper looks. Um, and it does light up. I couldn't get it to light up. It didn't have a test button, but the windows do light up on that. And then this was a piece that pleasantly surprised me. I've seen this online several times and I didn't think it looked very nice, but then when I actually lit it up in person, it was actually pretty cute. I, I liked this little haunted village <laughs> uh, better than I thought I would. Yes, thank you subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> we found it. It was at the cash wrap. Yay. Okay, friends, we finally found the rug. I am so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the person who told me they were at the cash wrap. You were 100% right. Uh, $12.99, I got it, I'm so excited. <laughs> and we got our big boy planter. Uh, he was 30 bucks, but he is worth it. I am so excited, I got a couple more things that I'll show you later, but that was a very successful trip. I feel really good about that. And uh, I got recognized by a girl, she said, you're that girl from YouTube. <laughs> so yes I am, that girl from YouTube. <laughs> that was pretty funny, she was like, I was just watching your video yesterday. <laughs> So that is it for today. I'm gonna go get some Taco Bell. I want a Baja Blast. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take a shower because it's freaking hot out here. <laughs> and I will see you all on Friday morning. I just filmed a whole intro and I wasn't recording, so. We are back on the decor hunt today. I am very excited. Uh, I've gotten some information that a couple places around me other people have messaged me and said that, they, that they're having a full code orange now so I'm very excited to go check that out today. I am giving you casual goth today because I am exhausted y'all. I have four days left at my corporate job um, and yesterday I worked a 13 hour shift and I'm just pooped. I have to go into work tomorrow for like six hours on a Saturday to train my replacement. I'm just, oh, I'm tired. So I wanted to give, I wanted to just be comfy today and enjoy my day off. Um, this shirt, I don't know if you can see this. Okay, keep it spooky. So this was designed by um, Art by LeMay, who I will tag in the description. Um, but they designed this shirt like for me, like it was designed while like watching my videos and kind of, you know, referencing my aesthetic. Um, it's like mid-century spooky pumpkin. I love it so much. Um, so I bought this one and then they are actually sending me two more of their designs. Uh, they did like a cute mid-century ghosty, uh, teal and black and pink ghosts. And then, um, there's like a, a witch one as well that they're sending me and I'm really excited. It's super cute. I, I will tag their shop. I, I love this. This is like my new favorite shirt. <laughs> so thank you, Art by LeMay. Uh, I love, I love your designs. Um, I have another one too that's like the busts from Haunted Mansion and it says ready to socialize, which I think would be so funny since that's my like exit song. Okay, thank goodness. I've got some coffee. I'm in desperate need this morning. I worked till like 10.45 last night. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna start at Cracker Barrel again because it's really close to my house. And I I have heard that that, have you, have you guys seen this like apparition statue thing that they have this year? It's like this kind of sheet, like a sheet ghost <laughs> um, blowing in the wind like and it's hollow and then it's like holding a lantern. I don't know, it's super freaking cool. But I guess they only made like super limited quantities of them. And they're already selling out. So I wanted to go check first thing this morning and see if they have that or anything like that or any of their Halloween. And I know they have Halloween, some Halloween now. Somebody, somebody told me on my thank you to whoever Instagram messaged me and said uh, that they had stuff out at the one at Tiffany Springs. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna hit a bunch of places today. It's gonna be a full day of decor hunting. We're gonna hit um, Bath and Body. We're gonna hit Michaels. Today is the day that Michaels is supposed to be putting their stuff out. 
Um, I don't know if you all have seen that tweet going around the internet, but this, they were like, yeah, today is uh, the day Michael said that their collection drops. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means all their Halloween stuff. I don't know if that just means fall florals. I don't know if that means they start putting out some stuff. Um, but I, I mean, you know, we saw on, when was that? Whenever we hunted last, a few days ago, they had their wreath stuff pretty fully stocked. There was still some of it, not all out yet, but it was pretty, pretty much fully stocked at that point. So I know it's not like just that, that they're saying is dropping. Like it's going to be something more than that. Crocker Barrel, um, where else? I have a list. Anyway, we're going to go to a whole bunch of places and see if they've got stuff out. Um, and then also we're going to, I'm going to pop by my PO box again. I got a huge stack of packages, uh, a couple days ago for my PO box. I've got a whole, whole, whole bunch of stuff to open from you guys. Thank you so much for sending me things. You are so sweet. Um, so I'm going to open some subscriber mail too, uh, at some point in this video. Anyway, uh, I need to turn my air conditioning back on because it is smuggy out today. So I'm going to uh, turn this off, turn my air on, and then I will check back in with you when we get to Cracker Barrel. Okay, so Cracker Barrel had their stuff out. Very exciting to see stuff in the store. Um, they, they, the apparition guy was already gone. Um, I almost wonder if it wasn't the person who messaged me who bought it, because um, the girl was like looked with the spot where it was, and she's like, "Oh yeah," <laughs> she's like, "I knew we had something else, and now we don't." Um, but she did say it's super early in the season, obviously. Um, and so she said they'll probably get more in later. So hopefully I get the opportunity to show you guys that at a different date. Um, but they had some fun stuff out. They had a haunted house that I've seen um, either at Cracker Barrel or maybe, I want to say maybe like Big Lots or Kirkland's or somebody has had that same haunted house in previous years. And it's so cool. It flickers lights in the windows and makes noises and stuff. Um, they had like a cool, that's not usually my thing, but it was really cool. Kind of this like light up wine bottle that was purpley and had like glitter spinning and bats. That was kind of fun. I mean, for your kitchen as like a little spooky nightlight type thing, I actually kind of liked it. Or your bar. 
they have an animated broom like the Grandin Road one, but not. <laughs> um, definitely like not as good of quality as the Grandin Road one, but it is one of those brooms that like, you know, you put on the floor and it zzz, 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 around your house. So that's kind of fun. Like for, for Halloween on a budget, if you don't want to pay the Grandin Road price, which um, I did get something, but I think we'll wait. Uh, maybe when I do subscriber mail at the end of the video, I'll show you anything I bought today because I do think we're going to see some Halloween today and knowing me, I'm going to shop. So <laughs> we will once again haunt Bath and Body Works trying to uh, see if they are going to come through for me because they kept saying it'll be this week. It'll be this week. We'll call you. It'll be next week. <laughs> past week an employee told me that she had seen that they were like they had gotten you know plans in to basically set up the new floor displays but she didn't know if it was for Halloween or if it was for something else but she said that they would have new floor displays uh this weekend so can't hurt to go check okay enough of me chitting and chatting and I'm gonna have some more coffee we're at Michael's now. Um, I wasn't thinking like backwards from where I was. So Michael's was closer. So we're going to do Michael's and then Bath and Body Works number one is in this little shopping area. Um, and we'll go up to Liberty and do Bath and Body and Michael's up there as well as Hallmark. And uh, yeah, we got a lot to do. So let's go see what Michael's has. So uh, Michael's had, <laughs> they had some stuff out. Um, I think it was really bold of them, if that's what they were putting out today, to say they were having a collection drop. I think that was a really liberal use of the word collection. <laughs> However, what they did have, have out was cool and I've not seen before. Maybe they had it last year and I just, I missed it. Um, but I was seeing all this like doll furniture, more or less like dollhouse furniture type stuff. And I was like, this is it's not like for the spooky town. I mean, it could be for the spooky town, some of it, but there was like a bathtub and like couches and things. And I was like, this is weird. What is this? And then I found it. There was this black, like flat, you know, open back dollhouse type thing where you could literally like set up a dollhouse, a spooky dollhouse. And I thought that was really cool. I mean, like, I love miniature type stuff and so does my mom. And like, I, I probably wouldn't buy it for me just like, because I don't, I don't know where I would display it to really get the full value of it. But like, it, it was a cool little thing. I mean, like, I, I definitely thought, oh, that's different and neat. Um, so they had quite a bit of that out as well as like, you know, the stuff for the Lamax spooky towns that you can put like, in the yards and stuff, the trees. They had this spooky tree I bought last year, but cooler. It had like orange and black and white pumpkins and it's cooler. It's the exact same tree but with different stuff around it. And I'm kind of mad it's cooler than the one I bought last year. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, Michael's, that Michael's at least like not on the move. Uh, no clear shelves for Halloween. The wreath stuff was stocked, but it looked exactly like the wreath stuff that we saw four days ago. Um, so nothing crazy going on at Michael's yet. Bath and Body Works, uh, definitely has a lot of fall scents coming out. Didn't really see any Halloween. I saw a couple things I hadn't seen in person before. The spider web pocket back holder that's on like the lanyard. Uh, it's cute. It's $12. I don't think it's $12 cute in my opinion. Uh, I had this little like pumpkin flashlight on it, jack-o'-lantern flashlight. And honestly, like if I had gotten it, I would cut the lanyard off. The orange lanyard to me is like kind of ugly. I get that they're probably, I mean, my, my thought is that they're thinking about medical professionals and teachers and people who will need like lanyards with pocket back holders on them um, during spooky season. But yeah, I, I didn't get it. It was fine. And then I saw the spider one that is really something to behold. Uh, I don't know about that. And then the little kitty cat ghost um, that says stuff. It only has one phrase. I tried it multiple times and it only says like, Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Or something. <laughs> I'll put it here. And then I saw a uh, like vampire blood body wash in a cute little holographic 
um, pack. But yeah, other than that, still really no like actual Halloween out at Bath and Body. At least we're seeing like sprinkles of things everywhere we've gone today. Like there's nowhere that's been a complete no Halloween, nothing new bust yet. I head up to Liberty and we're gonna do Hallmark today too because I wanted to do them on Monday and by the time I remembered that I wanted to do Hallmark it was past their closing time. They close at like 5 30 or 6 so. Okay so Bath and Body, uh, they didn't have a bunch of new stuff out or really anything new out at this other one, but they finally let me buy stuff from the back. And I got, Maggie helped me again. Thank you, Maggie. And I have candles. Oh, I'm not gonna show you yet. I'm gonna show you when we get home. I'm very excited. But I was able to buy some stuff. So that was really exciting. And they showed me some new stuff that they have. Um, some things that I've never seen, they showed me a sugar skull wallflower that I haven't seen online yet. And they did tell me that August 2nd is when stuff is gonna be on the floor, all the decor stuff. So that'll be the day we run, not walk to <laughs> Bath and Body. Also, she told me, Maggie told me that that bust that I saw, but the headless candle holder, with the hand apparently so that was like a male one with like a rough apparently there's a woman as well and then she also told me or no somebody else told me that there was there's like some kind of candy dish with like a tongue like a monster head but it's a three-wick candle holder i haven't even seen that yet so that's super cool and uh, I'm gonna see if I can search some of these things, see if I can find pictures online somewhere so I can put them here. If I do, I'll, I'll drop them here. Um, but yeah, ah! I'm gonna give them all my money. I'm gonna <laughs> throw all my money at Bath and Body. I'm so excited to see these headless things and the, and the hand and oh, it's gonna be so exciting. So then I popped into Home Goods, nothing there yet. I popped into, where else did I go? Went to the other Michaels, nothing there. Oh, Hallmark. So I went over to Hallmark. Um, they've got some cute stuff out. They've It's starting to trickle in, very minimal still, but they had some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which for me isn't super Halloween. It's just more like spooky. Um, but they had like this jack head that was kind of like a, a color changing flashlight um, thing. And it like, it's, it talked, it was motion activated and it had a couple phrases. And then they had tiki mugs that were Jack and Sally, which were super, super cute. And I will probably end up getting at some point because I love tiki and I love Tim Burton. So that Jack one, especially, I was like, oh, I love it. And then um, they had their like keepsake ornaments out again that were Jack and Sally and Santa and Lock, Shock and Barrel. Those were really cool. They had like an up light on all of them and you could like plug them into each other and they'll like interact with each other. That was pretty cool. And then um, they had some like Halloween ornaments. They had like a pumpkin with a Sasquatch in it. That was kind of weird. And they had one that had kind of like some old Halloween mask looking danglies and um, some uh, peanuts stuff. So like a little peanuts ornament. They also had an end cap that had a little, a little ghost mug that was like pig pen in his little, you know, dirty sheet with his, when he got his rock trick or treating. It was super cute. I love the peanuts. Um, they had a really cute little peanut blanket that had like them trick or treating with their masks on and some different stuff like that. They have some licensed Hocus Pocus stuff that's kind of cute. They've got, um, they had a Winifred ornament and then they had like little wine mugs that said, I put a spell on you. And one that said like, support your local ghoul gang, which of course I loved and I almost bought, but I don't really care for purple. It's not really my favorite color. If it had been black, I would have gotten it. They also had this weird little mug that said like, Mombi. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. And, uh, but they had a really cute Hocus Pocus tea towel that I think also said I put a spell on you, but it was like a silhouette. I liked the font. It was really cute. I liked it a lot. 
I think it was like $12.99. They had some little pumpkins out, some black and white striped pumpkins and this like eyeball that I don't know if it was like a planter or a candy dish or like, I don't know what it was. It was kind of cool looking, but I'm not sure what you use it for. It was like kind of at an angle, almost like a cookie jar without a lid. I don't know. But yeah, so they definitely had some stuff out that was cool. Uh, I think they'll probably get a lot more in. They usually have a decent little section of Halloween and this was just like a couple end caps here and there. So as is tradition, I'm going to cap off today at At Home. We are here. I'm going to pop in and see if they put anything new out and then we'll head home. I'll show you my candle haul and the couple things that I've gotten from like At Home and Cracker Barrel in different places over the last few days. And then we'll open some mail. I'm excited. All right, let's head in. Yay, so they had some new stuff out. Super exciting. Um, really, some stuff I've been wanting to see. Um, this lantern from the Dark Decadence line that was a spider. Um, they had like, they had this new cool witch that I hadn't seen before or kind of Victorian woman with the candelabra. I usually don't like those kind of like doll-esque things, but this one was kind of cool, I thought. More of the Halloween hoedown line. They had some like buffalo check pillows and like a patchworky pillow that said boo and a little ghost, a little kind of folk art looking ghost with a, I think he was holding a sign that said boo. Um, what else did we see? We saw some cool pumpkins that are actually more of like their harvest line, but I think you could like DIY them somehow, like paint them up, make them look really cool and spooky for like your yard almost. I don't know if they're made to go outside, but they're very cool. But yeah, overall, at home is starting to look more and more like at home at Halloween time. Um, I even noticed late over by the pillows, they're starting to clear out space for fall and Halloween. They had more fall blankets and pillows out, um, which that was summer, like full summer just last week. So uh, yeah, they're really, they're starting to clear the way and I'm ready to see the rest of it. I feel like at home has been this like drawn out thing this year where it's like, usually we go do one big walkthrough of everything that at home has to offer. And this year it's been like pulling teeth. So I'm going to grab some lunch for me and my husband. I'm going to head home. I'll show you my little haul and then we'll open subscriber mail and then we'll be done for today. So I will catch up with you here in a little bit. Hey ghouls, uh, so <laughs> I know this is now the second time I've done this uh, in two weeks and I, I do apologize for that. Uh, I got to the end of this video and realized that I still had uh, an hour of footage from subscriber mail unboxing and the haul portion of this video and I do not have time to edit a two hour video <laughs> before uh, my upload date. So. Uh, what we're going to do is make this a two-parter. I'm going to release the second part on either Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. So you'll be watching this Monday night and then uh, probably Wednesday evening I'll release the second half of the video. I really appreciate y'all being patient with me. Uh, it's been a whirlwind as I'm finishing up my office job. I have three days left there and then I will have a lot more time to edit and film and not be cramming uh, making these videos into like two days. It's been a whirlwind, but I'm really, really excited to be doing this full time in just a few days. So thank you for your patience with me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the hunt video today. I will see you for part two on Wednesday. And until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to socialize.